What's up everyone? Welcome to another live stream and this one is completely dedicated to the Oculus Rift. The excitement is real. Anyways, uh, hello to everyone who's watching right now. Uh, let me know if you are actually planning to buy a Quest and what version are you going for? Are you going for the, for the 64 or the 128 one? Let me know. I'm very, very curious. So let me let me see who's in the chat here. Wow. Hello. Hello to Load of Bread, Swiss Guy, Imply Dudes, Lightning Shock, Brawl, and many others. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. I see a lot of 64. Gigabyte ones, and actually, that's not a bad idea. I think uh, 64 is the is the way to go. We're still waiting for that external external solution. People say it's possible. I'm sure a lot of a lot of uh, folks out there will be able to mod their quest and. We'll find some kind of solution that allows you to get more storage that is way cheaper than what Oculus is trying to sell right now. Because if you want to have a Oculus Quest with 64 gigabytes, you pay 400 bucks. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But if you want to uh, buy the 128 gigabytes version, you have to spend, yes, a whopping 500 bucks. So you pay $100 more for, well... A couple of more gigabytes so I'm I'm sure some people are not planning to do that and they are going to try out different different uh, tricks on the quest and see if they can expand their storage we'll see time will tell but I I feel like it's possible I, I feel like it's possible there there is a lot that can be modified uh, uh, if you talk about the oculus quest and and that's great news if it was a closed system then yeah then, then you can't really play around with it in in ways that people would never been. Well, never mind. You know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, uh, this stream is basically us, of course, as the title suggests, uh, talk about the quest, and uh, we're going to build up the excitement. We all know it's, it's, it's going to happen soon. Spring is almost over anyway, so there isn't that much time anymore. 
Um, so yeah, let's let's uh, share share the joy of of waiting for the quest. Let's talk about things we already know, things we maybe don't know, um, or or uh, dreams you guys have, or suggestions of what you would like to see on the on the quest. Because there is there is so much to talk about. This this standalone VR headset is going to have a big impact on the VR market. It's going to have uh, it's, it's going to bring us closer to the tipping point of VR. That's that's what I expect uh, to happen. So, yeah, it's it, it, it's an amazing time to be to be living in, uh, especially if you're in this VR bubble, right? Um, so let me go to the chat and see what uh, what uh, you guys are, are talking about. Uh, super hot VR on Quest will be cool. Well, I totally agree with you, DJ. It's going to be uh, super hot. Are you going to make a stream for Rift S2, uh, Nathy? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Time will tell. Ha! Jakey says, uh, PC casting from SteamVR. Uh, as I said in, in, in the q and I did uh, together with Tyreel Wood, I think you will be able to stream PC games to the Quest. No one has tried it yet, but I, I think when it drops, some people are going to, uh, to modify it in a way where it's capable of doing it. And with the Go you could do the same, you know, you could play Beat Saber on the Go. You could stream games from Steam to the Go, so... Yes, yes, I do think that's possible. It's just guessing for now. Also, if it's a little noisy uh, outside of my microphone, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there is like a crazy thunderstorm happening here in the Holland land. So hopefully uh, the power is not going to go out while we're streaming. <laughs> if, if, let's say, if I disappear from, from, the, from the internet, from the air, uh, then you know what happened, okay? I got struck by lightning then. Uh, but let's hope that's not going to happen, because it would roast this, this PC and it would roast everything in the house. <laughs> oh, that would be a disaster. Like I, like, I wonder what would happen if, let's say, lightning strikes, the computer is on and there is still a VR headset plugged into the PC. Would the headset then also be completely uh, roasted? I, I wonder. I wonder. Let's try for science. No, no. <laughs> I could stand on the rooftop right now with my PC in one hand and a headset in the other and, and wait for it to <laughs> go down. <laughs> yes. So what else do we have? Uh, VR Basement is asking, Nati, do you think it will be easy to record gameplay on the Quest? It is easy. Uh, let's say it's quite easy. Okay, so... In the, in the menu of the quest, you can simply hit a button and then it records and you can, as far as I know, also just live stream. It's the same as the Oculus Go, same features. Uh, the only problem is, is that if you want to record and you want to take that, that, that video off the de device, uh, you can. But the audio and the actual video will not be in sync, so you kind of need to, well, bring it together again, uh, if, if you understand what I mean. But it's possible, yes. Were you able to get your hands on the quest early? Yes, I had two opportunities uh, so far. Uh, I tried it out at Oculus Connect 5. That's a year ago or six, six, seven, eight months ago. I don't even know anymore. Time flies. And uh, I also tried the quest at PAX. Uh, that's that's almost a month ago now. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of lot of time with the quest already. So I can tell you everything you need to you need to know. Yes, Oculus has been very nice to me. Okay, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that I can have an early hands-on uh, with with hardware that isn't out yet. It's it's special. It's a, it's a certain privilege you can have if, if you are a YouTuber like me. Uh, someone is asking how hot does it get? 
Well, it can become it can become very hot. Yes, it depends on what you play. I noticed that uh, some games are, of course, uh, um, far more um, heavy in terms of, of of graphics and and gameplay. Like, uh, for example, Robo Recall is a title that takes a lot of power from your quest to run. Well, a, a title like uh, yeah, which one should I should I use in as, as an example? Maybe maybe Spart Scramble and um, well, Journey of the Gods too. In a way, are are not that um, in, intensive to run. So it it depends. Uh, but yes, it can get very hot, especially with a game like Super Hot, for example. Um, but if it gets too hot, it will just shut down by itself. It's it's very similar to the to the go in in many ways many ways. How long is the battery life? This is something that I hear a lot, and I can't officially confirm this, but from my experience, and this is again based on what you play, because some games drain power way more than others. So if you play a casual title you will be able to play longer and you have way more battery power than if you play uh, something that is that is more uh, intense uh, more heavy so it, it would be around I think as far as I know like four or five hours that that's that's it four or five hours oh, another one can you side load so for the people that are watching that don't know what side loading is, it's pretty much um, hooking your, your headset uh, up to your PC and then, um, well, um, implement apps on there or like put software on there or games or experiences, stuff like that. And I think you can, I think you can. Again, I haven't tried it because I, I don't have my quest yet. Um, but I'm sure it's possible. Same story as the Go. You know, with the Go you could sideload. Uh, it, it's using the same system or a similar system as the Go. So I think you will be able to sideload. I don't know in what way that's going to work or what kind of impact that's going to have on the device. But I, I think I think it will. Mus is here is asking, does the Quest support Steam? No, no, it does not support Steam. Uh, it's running on Oculus Home. Oculus Home is a closed platform because uh, Facebook wants a ecosystem uh, that they, well, built by themselves. So they want to keep you in this, in this uh, Oculus bubble. So uh, no, but as I said before, again, I do think you will be able to stream steam to the quest in in a way uh, with maybe software maybe with a device maybe something like like Riftcat did in the past you know they pulled it off uh, a while back with other headsets uh, Julie is asking uh, cross buy will only be available with oculus rift or steam and other stuff uh, only only oculus home will support cross buy um, sometimes you have a game on Steam that you bought that the developer is willing to give you on Oculus Home too, but I don't think nowadays that happens that much anymore. Uh, with uh, Elite Dangerous, you could email the dev back then and say like, listen, I bought it on Steam, can I have it on uh, on, on Home too? Or was it E-Valkyrie? One of the two. But basically you could, um, but nowadays that's super rare. But cross-buy only exists on Oculus Home. And it still depends on the developer if they want to uh, uh, support cross-buy. And, and cross-buy basically means if I bought uh, Robo Recall on uh, the Rift, on the Oculus Rift, um, then I might be able to get it for free on the Quest. And that's what they call cross-buy. Uh, so cross-buy could mean that you are getting Robo Recall for free on Quest because you bought it on Rift, or you got to buy it again. So it, it depends. It depends. But... Uh, as far as I know, you will be able to, to see that in some way that something is cross by or not. So you don't um, well, get surprised uh, by, by anything unknown. Do you think the quest build will be worth it? Well, 
from my experience, it's great, it's worth it, but I would still recommend you to, if you didn't buy it yet and you're still on the line, still on the fence, um, I would just wait and see what people say when it's officially out, uh, what, what the reviews are, are talking about, stuff like that, and then decide if you want to buy it or not. It's still, well, it's not tricky, but it's just, uh, that's what I personally would do if I... If I was planning to buy a quest, then I would wait until it's out and then see what people say about it. But that's with everything. That's with with uh, the hardware I buy. That's with everything else that gets announced. I always want to inform myself first and then start, well, you know, buying things. It's the, it's the safest option because remember, you can only spend your money once, okay? Once and that's it. Also, let me know if the music is loud enough, otherwise I just turn it up a little bit more. To get this party started, this standalone party. The quest is coming, my uh, my friends. Very soon. What game are you most excited for on the Oculus Quest? Well, that's a very, very good one. Let me know in the chat, by the way, what you guys want to play uh, first on your quest. For me... I mean, I don't have a personal preference, but I would say uh, I, I really enjoy Journey of the Gods, and I do want to play more of that. So for me, Journey of the Gods is definitely in, high in my list. <laughs> Someone is asking, is there music? Yeah, is it that low? Okay. Let me d just turn it up a little bit here. Okay. Let me check my meters. Oh yeah, okay, it is on. And my microphone makes funny noises I hear. Okay, let me let me fix that. Because it's it's sometimes touching my my sweater. So that's why you sometimes hear a little bit of noise. Sorry about that. Happens. That's that's the joy of, of going wireless. Okay, Jeffrey says, uh, looking forward to Robo Recall. Jills is going to play uh, Beat Saber. Someone wants to play Garn. Well, I don't think Garn has been uh, confirmed yet, but hopefully it will. Fallman says, Smashbox? Is Smashbox coming to uh, the quest? What? What did I miss here? I don't think it has been officially announced. I don't think so. 22Q wants to play VR Chad. Uh, Rec Room. Yeah, Rec Room will be coming to the quest. So, when do you guys think the quest will be coming out? I'm, uh, I'm eager to, to hear, to hear more. My, my guess has always been, uh, F8, because it's very obvious. It's the, it's, it's the best place to announce uh, a new headset and if we look at the past oculus did also announce the go there so i think that's that's the the place to be and hello to paradise dk thank you for joining us glad to finally see you again in the chat uh yeah f8 so a lot of people say f8 You know what I always say, I've said it at the podcast, I've said it at many, many uh, uh, Q&As I've done in the past. They simply want Mark Zuckerberg to hold the, I don't know if the Rift S is going to be announced at F8, who, who knows. But he, he's going to maybe hold the, the Rift S and the Quest in his hands and he's like, well, you know, you can buy it now. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. And if there is someone who can sell or make people aware of a new product coming to the market it's mark zuckerberg especially for for oculus he's like one of their one of their um well spokesman in a way or well no, i wouldn't say spokesman but more of a like he's more like the the palmer lucky of of of, of 2019 although i still wish we we would see someone representing oculus as a whole i mean for me Back in the days when I uh, backed the Oculus Rift DK1, Palmer Lucky was really, you know, the the the, the frontman of the company of Oculus. And and nowadays, I really feel like there is there. I feel like it's missing. There is not someone that you can really identify with as the 
uh, person who, you know, uh, keeps the show running. Like you have with Valve, for example, where Gabe Newell is like the, you know, uh, the boss. So hopefully Oculus will find someone in the near future that can really take us on this adventure in, in, in some way. I don't know about you guys, but that's something I, I would like to see. Um, but yes, F8. F8 is, uh, is what most people think the place to, well, announce the quest. So let me scroll up a little bit here. Will they be streaming F8? Yes, I think so. I think so. Uh, I might be streaming as well. We'll see. It would be fun to react to the stream together. <laughs> Do you think the Quest is better than the PSVR? I don't think you want to compare these headsets together. Uh, you need to know that the Quest is the first standalone VR headset in the lineup. Uh, it's... It's, it's not fair to compare it to console or, or PC headsets. The closest you could compare it to would be the Vive Cosmos if it ever gets announced. Because right now we don't hear much about the Vive Cosmos. And still that is also a, a headset that has its own genre. It's, it's like this hybrid. So I, I don't think you want to you wanna really compare Battery packs for longer life. Um, yes, I do think you can pull that off, uh, Nelson. I, I do think you can do that. Gamer Vision is asking, Nati, what do I do if it doesn't release in Puerto Rico? That is a <laughs> that is a legit legit question right there, my friend. Um, so something you could do. It's very expensive, but. You could uh, import one. There are companies in the US uh, and maybe also in Europe that could uh, send it to you. But then you need to pay some extra to make that happen. So that's something you could do. You could import a headset. Uh, but it will be uh, a little bit more pricey. I think you would pay um, at least $60, $70 uh, extra on top of the $400 bucks to, to get it to your place. Um, or when you have a holiday planned in the US or something, you could take one with you. That's also possible. Stay sticky. What about the Canadians? I'm sure Canada will have uh, will have a quest release. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And if not, <laughs> well, you guys are living next to the US, so you could technically go over the border and take one with you, but. Most most countries out there will have a quest uh, a release. They will. <laughs> Everyone is now suddenly super concerned if it's going to come out in their country. Yes, Germany. Yes, Finland. Yes, Netherlands. Um, Poland. Uh, Spain. Italy. Uh, of course, uh, the United States. Canada. Uh, yeah, we could go on forever. Okay, Sweden and Belgium and uh, Russia and... Um, well, Asia, I don't think so, by the way. Asia is, is one of those places where Oculus will have to rebuild the, the quest so it, so it can be released in Asia. And it needs to be conf like approved by the government. It's very complicated. It's very complicated. Australia, um, I'm sure Australia is also a place where it's going to be. Although, Australia is one of the most expensive places usually to buy hardware. Because you guys are living on an island. I'm, I'm sorry to, to bring it to you. But that's that's kind of like the issue. And you're very far away on the on the, on the the planet. So hopefully it's not going to be too expensive. I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm crossing my fingers for you Aussies. That you are going to pay a fair price for your quest. But I know the struggles. I know a few people from Australia. And these prices are going through the freaking roof. My days. Yeah, might. <laughs> okay, um, what else do we have? Is the tracking on the quest good? It's good enough. Yes, good enough. 
do you think that... Uh, okay, wait, this is a very complicated one, actually. Someone is asking if the uh, if other controllers outside of the, the touch are going to work with the quest. And uh, no. No, but the thing is, the thing is, it does use inside-out tracking. So, there are other headsets on the market now that use the same technology. And in the past with the Rift, it was just using its own tech and there was no other headset that was using it but now there are many more HMDs that are using the same the same tech so maybe just maybe you could use your MR headsets and but I don't I don't, I don't think so I don't think so I, I'm going to be so surprised what people are going to modify you know in with with their with their quest Will we see Netflix on the quest? Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. It's just that uh, I don't know when. I don't know if it's going to be on release or later on. But uh, since quest is also on the go, I do think it's coming to the... Well, quest. Seriously, if, if you want to compare stuff... The Go is the best option. Maybe not hardware-wise, but software-wise, it comes so close to the Quest. It's very, 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 very similar. Very similar. Yes, you will have to play in a lit room to make the Quest working, Lee Watson. Just a, a casual lit room. That's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Do you think they will create a cloud gaming uh, 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 solution like Stadia for the Quest? No, I don't think so. I don't think they want to bring pancake content to their headsets. Nah, I don't think they want to do that. I think they really want to make VR VR games. I would like that to have. Like, I would like to to have something like Stadia, but I I don't. Uh, I don't think they, they have any plans. A lot of people are asking if uh, Rec Room is coming to the Quest. Yes. Yes, it is coming to the Quest. Do I think the 64 gigabyte version of the Quest is enough storage to have fun with? Uh, it depends on... Uh, <laughs> depends on how many games you are going to play. Let's say if you have so many games on there that you don't want to delete and want to play all at the same time whenever you want, um, then it could be that you want to upgrade. But I, I think 64 is fine. I think with 64, you 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 have enough storage to to play whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. So I don't I don't think that's an issue. Like you could you could save those hundred bucks to buy some very nice games instead of having to upgrade uh, to a 128 version. So it, it it depends on how much you have to spend. You know, if if you're this rich rich person that has money to blow, then yeah, maybe buy the biggest one and then buy some good games. But if you're more on the, on a budget, of course, just go for the 64. 64 is fine, and then buy some nice games. Personally, I would buy the 64 as well. Oh, this is a very good one as well. Jackson wants to know if Marvel Powers United is coming to the quest. I don't think I have made any predictions on Marvel Powers United, but... It's quite obvious that that one is coming to the quest because if you if you watch the the Oculus trailer, the one with the girl with the with the afro, um, there is this one moment where 
she's playing a game that looks awfully similar to to Marvel Powers United. So there are some hints there. And since it's a game made by Zenzaru and Oculus Studios, I do think we're going to see Marvel Marvel Powers on there. Yeah. Would make total sense. Of course downgraded, but it's still going to look fine. Uh, how big is the Robo Recall game or something like it Fals Eyes? So something that I uh, learned is that if you want to know how big a game is going to be, you got to first of all split the original PC game in half. So let's say, this is just an example, I don't know how much gigabytes Robo Recall is, but let's say Robo Recall is... Uh, like maybe 10 gigabytes okay just just saying something here just a random number then you should split it in half then it's five gigabytes and then you should be aiming for like 15% of the original size so you can just calculate that by yourself but if you if you want to learn more about that uh, watch my video uh, where I'm talking about the 64 and the 128 version of the quest there's a video on the channel uh, that uh, informs you more about that, but there is a way you can calculate how much a game is is going to uh, is going to be. Uh, also, something uh, that I want to highlight here is that uh, I have a Discord, so if you want to join us and continue the talks uh, about the quest, but also the Index, the Rift S, Nintendo Labo, Pimax, Extol. Uh, Star VR, um, etc, etc, PlayStation VR, of course, then, um, thank you for the donation, by the way, but if you want to join us uh, on Discord, you can, I will make sure there uh, there is a link in the description below, and I will also drop it in the chat right now, so if you want to join our Discord and talk about everything VR, then you are, of course, welcome, uh, it's, it's awesome to be, you know, hanging out there, posting memes, uh, talk about interesting stuff funny stuff nonsense stuff everything um so yeah feel free to join uh, it's also in the description it's in the chat it's everywhere the discord the native vr discord so micro flash was asking with a donation uh will vacation simulator come to the quest and yes it will it will come to the quest when i don't know i don't think did they did they announce a date i don't think so so we don't know if it's going to be launch or later. Like a lot of games that have been uh, announced so far have not said anything about uh, launching with the quest when it comes out or if they will be coming out later. So I don't know. I, I think the games that get announced in the Oculus Quest countdown by Oculus themselves are the ones that will be launch titles. I'm not completely sure, but I think the ones that are on the quest countdown are really the ones that oculus wants to push so yeah ha this is also one that i have been uh been talking about a lot today uh d22 says do you really believe the quest can handle arizona sunshine okay so just a quick story here to to kind of sum it up so you know what what this is all about so at, um, at Twitter, uh, Vertigo Games posted this image of uh, a dam, a Hoover Dam, um, and uh, they, were, they were hinting towards a new DLC, or at least a new update uh, of, of Arizona Sunshine, and I was instantly like, this must be a hint towards, uh, towards the Oculus Quest. It's, it's just... It's just too obvious. As you guys said, F8 is around the corner. Then they suddenly are promoting this DLC. Why would you do that now? They could have done it uh, way earlier if they wanted to. But they didn't. So, I made the, pr made the prediction that Arizona Sunshine is coming to the quest. Okay, and I think it's going to happen. I think it's really going to happen. People right now said that I'm crazy, plain crazy, and that it's not possible. I, I think you I think you would be surprised. I think you would be really surprised. I think it's gonna happen. Yeah. Because why announce something now? There's nothing else to be to, to, to announce around Arizona right now that is interesting. So yeah. 
I don't know, but this is just a guess, okay? I don't know anything, <laughs> but it's it's like this this is just this is it. So Arizona Sunshine, I don't know how they are going to pull it off, but it's going to run on the quest, just like Robo Recall. People also said like Robo Recall, not possible, but it runs. It runs on the quest. I don't know how, but it does. How bad is the light leakage on the quest? It's not bad at all. No. That's that's all I can say. It's hard to describe, but it's not bad at all. Nikita is asking, will you be able to mirror the screen of the quest? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because there is this one image that Oculus uh, teased in the past where you see someone playing in a living room and you see a screen on, in the in the back where you can where you can see them playing the actual game. So I I think there will be a party mode where that allows you to share what you're playing with with your friends. You could also cast from the go to the mo to a mobile phone and probably it's it's the same with the quest. Any any audio accessories that you would be able to buy for the quest uh well well maybe not officially uh, but it could be that external companies see an opportunity to make make some money there and they will sell some stuff uh, it happened in the past with the rift uh, you could also buy accessories for that so maybe the quest tracking is not better than the rift tracking, no. I don't know where those stories are coming from, but no. As I said before, tracking is good enough. It works in most occasions, most. Ha! <laughs> VR Basement says, I think VR will go mainstream soon. Well, I hope so. I hope the same, my friend, but... I'm afraid we're still far away from that, but the quest will definitely help us to get closer to that, that magical point of VR being completely a mainstream. Uh, the home screen. Someone wants to know how the home screen looks. Well, if you have seen uh, John Carmack's tweets about that, you could see that the, the home screen is definitely different than the one uh, in the Rift. And also is different than the one in the Go. So it's like this, uh, like it looks like a dome. And uh, there's like a bookshelf in there and, and a chair and a couch and a plant and a light. It's, 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 a, it's an okay-ish uh, uh, like place to start. But I'm, I'm sure you will be able to customize it later down the road to make it more personal. Well, we'll see. Wow, so we have another donation from Alexander. Your your second name is quite hard to pronounce, so let me just let me just skip that. I, I'm I'm sorry, but um, he says I appreciate the content. Keep up the good work. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the donation. That's very very kind of you, um, and I will I will um, I will be coming uh, with a lot of quest rift as index. And other other content for sure. Yeah, because there are so many, so many headsets coming out. It's going to be crazy. Charlie wants to know if Nate is going to F8. Um, well, let's say if I would tell you right now I would go to F8, then you all know uh, what what is going to happen at F8. But um, no, uh, I have no plans to go to F8. But if I would, then you know exactly what you can expect. <laughs> because because then I'm like pretty much telling you like, hey, listen, uh, Nate likes Quest. He's going to F8. Hmm, what kind of connection could that be, right? Would be way too obvious. But no, I, I will not be going to, uh, to F8. I haven't been invited. And I also don't think I really have time to go to F8. I'm like extremely busy. Uh, so I don't know if, if someone would invite me if I would do it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. 
Steve, have you seen Home on the Quest? Is it more Rift 2.0 or more like the Go? As I said before, based on what I've seen on John Carmack, his uh, uh, videos, it's closer to the to the uh, what is it? The, the the Go? Yeah, definitely. So are we still up in the air because my stream is buffering right now? Let me double check here. Are we still in the air, folks? Oh yes, yes, we're back. Okay. I I, I for one moment I thought I, I got struck by lightning. <laughs> because it's still still going wild outside. Okay, awesome. We're back. Sweet. Um so we had another donation. Where did it go? I completely lost it. Okay, so Microflash says, I want to make a quest game. Is there a way I could? Um, yes, uh, Oculus has SDKs. You, of course, also have Unity. Uh, you can try Unity. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a free demo of Unity, but you can definitely try Unity out and try to build your first game. Uh, so there are plenty of tutorials out there that will help you to make your own VR game. But it's... Uh, it's not the easiest thing, okay? Building your own VR game is... Uh... Oh, here. The duck says, Unity Personal Edition is free. Well, there you go. As long as you use it for, for personal reasons, uh, you can. David is asking, what is the maximum IPD? Well, uh, the Quest uh, has... Uh... Well, that's a good one. Uh, I can't... Like, I can't remember it right now. But, um... That's like a little brain freeze right there. I don't know anymore, but I think David was more talking about an inside joke here. <laughs> I trapped myself with this question now. My days. Brock Peterson, what headset do you play the most? Uh... Right now, right now I play the most with the Nintendo Labo VR headset and I know this is going to sound silly, but it's uh, it's true. Yeah, so this the, the IPD is 72. Thanks for for helping me out here. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. 72. Yes. Maybe I should write it on my hand or or do something else to remember. 51 to 72. Someone is asking, what is IPD? Well, that's a good one. It's like the space between your eyes. That's what IPD means. If you, if you, if you need a pair of glasses, they also measure your IPD. Do you think they will have a traveling case available for Quest? Um, I think so. Uh, I just hope that it's not going to take as long as, as with the Go, because uh, almost six months after the Go came out, they came with a traveling case. So hopefully they just uh, release one straight away, or they ship it in one. Maybe that's also something they could do. Instead of selling it in a cardboard box, they could go for this nice DK1 crate. This nice DK1 case, that would be nice. Yeah, no one really knows in what package it will be, you know, shipped. I just hope it's not cardboard. I really hope it's going to be a carrying case. Or at least it comes with a, a, a case. We'll see. Time will tell. But that, that's that's a good one. What do you guys uh, think? Will they ship it in a, in a cardboard box? Or do something else? If you own two quests, can you share content? Uh... Oh, yeah, well, as long as you as you log in with the same account on these two headsets, then yeah. But you can't, uh, no, you can't have uh, one game on one account and then transfer it over to the other with a different account. That's, that's not, that's not possible. Then you need to buy it again. Will there be cross-buy between Quest and the Go? Uh... I, I, I'm, I'm afraid I can't answer that. Um, it's up to the developers. I don't think cross-buy is only something uh, Rift uh, to Quest and the other way around. I think that also 
means go, but I'm not officially sure. Not officially sure. Well, this is a very upbeat song that makes me super happy. This is this is me like an hour before F8, and I'm like, yay, okay, I'm ready. Come on, let's do this. It's going to be so exciting. I really, really hope they will they will announce it at F8. If we are going to sit there behind our tiny, tiny PCs, and then suddenly we're just like, wait, wait, where, where's the quest? It still hasn't been announced, and then suddenly it's not F8. <laughs> that would be a disaster. I already hypnotized myself too much with F8 that there is no way I can think differently anymore. It, it must be. Could we get Richie's Plank experience on the quest? Um, possible, yes, possible. Well, if it isn't F8, I don't think it's gonna come out anymore. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> sorry, sorry to bring you the news, but... <laughs> what, what else? What, what else would there be to, like, announce that? Spring will be over after F8 very soon. That would be something, right? Quite something. I don't know. F9. Yeah, that's it. F9. There we go. Second prediction has been made. <laughs> yeah, so this is also a good, good hint. Is uh, that... Um, this is what uh, Case says, is that Oculus sent out invite emails to watch the F8 keynote in venues. So, why would you like to have everyone who owns a Go watch the F8 conference, right? It's very, very suspicious. It's almost like they want people with a Go to maybe buy a quest and show them how awesome it is. The real wants to know if it would be better to buy a Rift S or a Quest. And he actually has a PC that runs uh, a Rift. So, well, it depends. It depends on what you want. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want to play VR on the road and you want to show it to other people and you want to just not be bound to your computer all the time, then go for the Quest because then you can play it wherever you want and, and show it. Uh, if you're just like, hey, I play a lot of uh, games at home, then yeah, go for, for the Rift you already have, maybe the Rift S, or one of the other headsets that is that is coming, like uh, Index, you know, Index? This, this, this uh, one headset to, well, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it, it depends. You kind of need to look at, at yourself and, and, and think, what am I... What am I going to do with my headset? Let's say if you play a lot of racing sims, if you are playing a lot of shooters and stuff like that, like competitive shooters, you want to play. You want to play in in your house. You want to play indoors, and you don't want to do that on the go. So it doesn't make any sense to to go for a quest. Then there are many examples why you should go for one headset and for the other. Uh, Will there be any free games if you pre-order it? Uh, I, I don't know, uh, Bacon Meme, but uh, there is one title that they should just bundle with the quest, and that's Beat Saber. If they bundle Beat Saber, it's going to sell like hotcakes. But I don't know. I, I'm sure they will be bundling it. They did the same with the Rift. You know, they bundled Marvel Powers United with the Rift, so. Jet, uh, do you think through sideloading that mods on Be Beat Saber would be possible? Um, probably, yes, but uh, I don't know how much effort that's going to take to make that happen. But for a lot of people, mods are so important on Beat Saber. But you, you definitely need to find your own way to enjoy Beat Saber. Uh... With, with mods. 
because officially it's not possible. And officially the devs also uh, do not support it. So, yeah, we'll see. But again, as I said before, I feel like there is a lot of space to modify a quest. <laughs> Someone wants to uh, see Zero Caliber run on the quest. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's possible. I haven't, I haven't seen any uh, any multiplayer shooter uh, getting announced on the on the quest yet. Besides uh, Dead and Buried, of course. But n no, no onward, no Pavlov, no uh, contractors, and I think most people would say it's not possible. Um, and I, I'm not so sure. Maybe, maybe it is. It's just also like a multiplayer needs to run on a server, and you you need you need a decent server and a decent speed to make that happen. And then with with all these, no, I I, I don't know. I don't know. I have my doubts in in some way. There there is a lot to worry about if you have. Uh, a shooter like Onward or Pavlov or Contractors and and you want to part it over to to a quest. I'm not a developer so I can't specifically tell you what what it takes to to make that happen, but it's it's tricky and it takes a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of development. Will they release Minecraft VR? Well, they shoot they, they shoot, they promised it on the go and they, they didn't deliver. They didn't deliver. So, yeah, they shoot, I agree. John Carmack is a big fan of Minecraft in VR. So if he, if he, can, if he can pull some strings at Oculus, then yeah, hopefully. <laughs> what do you think VR chat will look like on the quest? I don't know. But I definitely, definitely want to see what they came up with. How they, how they pulled that off. It's not going to be the same as PC. That's for sure. That's for sure. If I have the quest, will I be able to play Rec Room with my cousin who is on PSVR? Uh, Rec Room has always been a uh, cross-platform game, so I'm sure that with the quest you will be able to meet people uh, with other headsets. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I, I don't see a reason why that would be different with the quest. Jack Darling uh, is asking, do you think they'll come out with a cable for the Quest to use it with computers as well? No. No. No, you, you, you can forget about that. Again, doesn't say that someone is going to buy a cable, try it out and find a way to make it happen. But officially, no. No. Never say something isn't possible because you would be surprised. Nathie, you should host a Back to the Future screening event in big screen. Well, what did I miss? Do you have a Back to the Future screening event? Tell me more. I love Back to the Future. Tilt Brush has been confirmed for Quest. Virtual Rickality. I, I don't know if the Rick and Marty VR game is coming to Quest. Uh, if if Alchemy Labs has been parting over Vacation Simulator, they might... I don't know. Maybe they... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but since they already parted over Vacation Simulator, it might be a little easier to also bring bring the rest to quest. I don't know. 
Hey Nathy, can you check out the new Oculus blog post? They have some teasers. Um, yeah, we can. Do you guys wanna wanna see what uh, Oculus announced today? Because they did announce some new games. We can check it out. Well, let me see. I'm going to their Twitter. I'm soon going to show you what it looks like. First, I need to find the actual page. Okay, I found it. Let me switch over to this view right over here. There we go. I hope you can see this. So they did a quest countdown today of social games. That's what they call it. And um, yeah, as you can see, the first one that has been uh, announced is Ballista. And yeah, I, 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 haven't, I haven't played this. I didn't even knew this was a thing, actually. I do know that the developer uh, who worked on this title has made some really good games before. I, I thought Dragonfront was really decent. Damage Core was a complete disaster in my opinion. It's one of the worst games I've ever played. No offense, but you gotta start somewhere, right? But this new one, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely down to check it out. So what they say is that Ballista is a game in where you play as a hero um, that has the mission to protect a magical kingdom by fending off evil forces with a magical mirror. Hmm. Okay, okay. A sling. So this sounds, this sounds like a Angry Birds VR game. I don't know about you all, but that's what it, what it kind of sounds like. Then we have Rec Room, but Rec Room has already been announced by Against Gravity themselves. So that, that's nothing new. Rec Room is, uh, is definitely going to kill it on, uh, on the quest. And I, uh, I wish Against Gravity all the, all, the, all the luck, all the fun and all the, well, um, success they could pretty much get by bringing it over. Uh, then, it, then we have VR Chat. Also, one of those classics, uh, VR Chat is, is, is basically the VR Oasis. It's like Ready Player One. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Um, okay, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a great game. It's a co-op one in where you have to disarm a bomb. And one person is in VR and the other one uh, is, is not in VR and needs to read the manual of the bomb and tell the person in VR how to defuse it. So this is this nice collaboration uh, thing happening. Um, Poker Stars VR. Well, that one was, was obvious too. Uh, <laughs> VR cards. Oh, I played this one. Uh, I, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if you want to buy this game. Maybe let's say if you have a couple of friends with a quest, okay, and you want to play this this Mario Kart experience, then do it, okay, do it. But if you are alone and you're like, yeah, this looks like fun, but I don't really have friends to play with, don't, don't buy it, okay? Don't buy VR cards. Don't do it. Only if you have a couple of friends to enjoy this game with that all own a headset. Otherwise, don't, don't. It's a solid title, but it's just not so 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 fun to play alone, okay? But this one has been around for so long. For so freaking long. I remember playing this game on my DK2. That's like four years ago. And that's it. That's all. Wow, okay. Nothing else? No? Yeah, we could go back to uh, to the previous ones. Quest Countdown, Arcade Action, Thumper. This is this rhythm uh, violence uh, experience. It's very cool. It's all about audio. Angry Birds VR. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's an average title, but I, I don't feel like it's it's adding adding anything to to the quest. I, I feel like the quest is this awesome room skill VR experience and. Angry Birds is just a standing one, and I don't feel like you can really get something out of that. Ha! <laughs> bait! Bait is like this this awesome, awesome, awesome experience. It's like you're just sitting back, and you relax, and you're you're just waiting for for that, that awesome, that, that, that rare species to 
to pop up and then you can catch it and collect it. Yeah, I'm saying a lot of awesome, but seriously, this one is awesome. Fruit Ninja, nah, like, Fruit Ninja, you know, it's it was a nice game when it came out, but on Quest, nah. I would save up my money. I would save up my money. Like, Fruit Ninja is an okay game, but there are, there are better ones to buy. Rush, um, Rush is fun. It's a fun one. Uh, if you like uh, a good thrill and you want to go fast and you want to feel like you're flying, go for it. So that that's it. Let me just go back to the to the face cam here. Okay, let me give you one tip, okay? Let me give you one tip. If I had to buy a couple of Oculus Quest games, okay, and I had uh, a limited amount of of money, okay? You know what I would go for personally is I would buy titles that are not an oculus part that didn't come from the rift that didn't come from the go no i would buy titles that are that are that have been made from the ground up for the quest and why it's because they they have been designed to use the quest to its full potential most most of them and i, I feel like a, a part is always a different experience Something that has been made for Go plays differently on the Quest, and it's the same with the Rift. So that's something I would do. I would just see if a game uh, has been made for the Quest, and then maybe decide to buy that first, and then buy a part. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy parts at all. I'm just saying if you have a limited amount of money, then it's better to focus on the on the built from the ground up quest games first I don't know I don't know that's something I would personally do it's up to you guys what you do of course but that's a that's a tip I'm going to give you um, take it or leave it as they say <laughs> yeah so let me scroll through the chat for a second. Also, if you want to join my Discord, I will drop a link in the description. Uh, and I will also drop one in the chat. Feel free to join us. And uh, um, yeah, it's like one big family. We're talking about the, the quest there a lot. Uh, of course, the index. I mean, this is this overhyped headset right now that everyone seems to be waiting for. Um, the Rift S, Nintendo Labo, Pimax, Axtal. Um, but also other stuff, you know, we post memes, we, we talk about life, we talk about fun stuff, everything. So if you want to join my Discord, uh, link is in the chat, link is in the description. Um, and yeah, feel free to join the rebellion, okay? Join the excitement. And over there we always talk about VR. So if you can't think enough about virtual reality, join us. <laughs> join the cult. Join the VR bubble, okay? Do you think Quill will be on Quest? Uh, well, there is a big, uh, big possibility that that is going to come, but so far I haven't heard any official announcements on that yet. We'll see. How long have I been live? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, an hour. It's an hour. Wow. Okay. Have we been have we been talking for an hour already? Time flies. My days. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see. Hmm. Okay. Thanks everyone for hanging out here. By the way, I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it that that you guys are you know taking the time to come over to this to this live stream to chat about the Oculus Quest. Uh, it's awesome. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for. For tagging along. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Okay. I remember the days. And this is like, I don't know, four or five years ago. Where I was playing with the first Oculus Rift. And 
there were almost no people watching. <laughs> it's uh, it's unbelievable how how uh, VR became such a such a big phenomenon, such a big community. I I can tell you, four or five years ago, total different story. Nowadays, there is so much more interest in VR. If if I knew how much this would have blown up in these five years, I would have said like, well, this this is going mainstream for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are the, those are the days. Again, someone is asking Netflix on Quest. Uh, no official confirmations have been given, but I do think that will happen. Yes. Wait, is this a Nintendo song? I think so. What the heck? We're getting into the Nintendo Labo vibes here now. This is like that uh, theme song from uh, from Wii Sports, from that island. Oh man, good good old times. I I really enjoyed that game. Good workout. What is my favorite game on the quest so far? Uh, Journey of the Gods is uh, is one that I that I really enjoyed. It's like this Zelda themed uh, title. Uh, there is a gameplay on my channel if you want to check it out. It's a sneak peek. Expect more in the future. So something I also really want to know from from you all, f from the folks that are uh, interested in in the quest, uh, what what are you what do you want to see on my channel when the quest drops? What kind of videos do you want to see? Let me know. What kind of what what kind of videos are you looking for when you own your quest or when you're waiting for your quest? What what videos do you want to see? I'm uh, I'm I'm always open for feedback, tips and tricks uh, to improve improve my uh Okay, so someone says <laughs> Someone says uh, um, an unboxing, okay, a review. Uh, also, <laughs> someone wants me to compare the PSVR with the Quest. As I said before, you can't, you can't do that. You can't compare those two. Okay, so a review, an unboxing. Anything else? Compare quest games to the Rift games? Okay, okay. Tutorials? Tutorials about what? But I will definitely do an unboxing. I, I am not really someone who really does reviews, but who knows? Who knows? I might, might be doing one. Usually I don't. Okay, someone says a list of games made for the quest from ground up. Okay. How good the inside out tracking is. Gameplay videos, of course I will. Hi Nati, I live in Belgium, but I have no idea where I should get the quest or any VR tech for that matter. Um, you live in the Netherlands, right? Do you order them online or do you buy them somewhere? Um, well, the best way to go in this case is to buy it from the Oculus website. They like when they when they announce it or launch it, uh, they will of course have something on their website, and then you can buy it there. Uh, and then if you want to wait longer, you could also buy it from web shops that are popular in your in your country. Um, but yeah, uh, Oculus is the main source where you would be able to, to get one uh, from. And that's in the US, that's in Europe, that's everywhere around the world. Except for Asia once again. A 
HTC Focus versus Quest. Um, well, in, in some way you could do that, but the thing is, is that the Focus is a total different experience than the Quest. That it's it's hard. It's hard to to uh, put those against each other. And I'm already sure the Quest wins, but that's because of the price. You know, the pricing of the Quest is way better. So that would already be one point of, of it winning. But the focus, as I said, is like in a different ballpark. Could I buy Quest in stores on the release date or will I have to order it online? If you live in the US, I expect that you can buy it in the stores. Maybe a day later. I don't know if they, if they would stock it straight away. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, most people will buy it online and they will not go to a store. It's easier. What types of games do you want to see on Quest? Uh, social ones, uh, Rec Room, VR Chat, uh, Arbus, and and many others have proven that it brings communities together. So social is is the way uh, to go, I think. Yeah. Google Earth in VR. Well, it is in VR right now. It is not on the Quest. Maybe it will. I don't know. But I haven't heard much about Google Earth right now. It's pretty silent. Uh, how would you compare the graphics with other mid-tier headsets? It's hard, man. It's hard to compare. Let's say... Let's say the, the, the comparisons I could make do not have an impact on buying a different headset. It, it looks good enough to be competing with the rest. If that, if that brings you any closer to what you want to do here. Nate hates comparing and reviewing. Well, I don't hate comparing. But I, I, in some cases, I don't think it's fair to compare. In many cases, I don't think it's fair to compare. Because a lot of headsets out there have a way different audience. So I, sometimes I, I think, like, why, why are you doing this? Sometimes it doesn't make any sense to compare. It needs to be of the same genre if you want to compare. So again, the price of the uh, Oculus Quest 64 gigabytes is going to be uh, $400 and the uh, 128 one is going to be $500. So you pay a hundred bucks more for, well, more gigabytes. What games are going to be on Quest? Well, I have a video on my channel of 25 games that are coming to the Quest. So go check it out. And I also made a video yesterday of uh, 10 of the best VR games in my opinion that you should also check out on the quest so there's a lot on my channel that uh, that will well spark your excitement for the quest <laughs> comparing the quest to PSVR is like comparing a screwdriver to a hammer two different tools for two different purposes well I think that that's a great way of saying it that I couldn't have said it any better. That's that's it, kinda. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I should try comparing a screwdriver with a hammer. That's also very hard. <laughs> yeah, but you see it a lot. A lot of people do. Like, I see a lot of my colleagues comparing, comparing headsets. And there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you compare the right headsets, it makes sense. I just think that every VR headset has its own purpose, has its own market, has its own community. And uh, together they bring us like, you know, closer to the tipping point of VR going mainstream. You know, the Nintendo Labo VR as well uh, is, is such an awesome, awesome VR experience. And it's, it's unique in its own way. And I, I would not compare it to anything else I tried. And it's funny that actually at the podcast last week, I said the Nintendo Labo kit is one of the best VR headsets I tried. And then people were like, how is that even possible? Like the resolution, it's so low and, you know, you have this, the, the, this frame rate is kind of blurry sometimes. I'm like, listen, listen, folks, it, it's not about hardware all the time, okay? It's sometimes about the experience, the way you you open that box and you get introduced to this vr headset or what content you get to play or the, the price things like that so it's 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 about something completely else of course some people are completely focused on resolution on on uh the like how how fast the headset is stuff like that but in the end, for me, it's like every VR headset is, is unique in its own way. <laughs> Nati is trying to not make the PSVR people mad. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even trying. I love my PlayStation VR and the community there is freaking fantastic. Uh, PlayStation VR has been carrying the VR industry for many years now. They have showed that VR doesn't need to be, ex be expensive, that the content is, 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 is the thing that is king. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm an all-round uh, uh, VR fanboy, okay? I, I love pretty much every headset I, I played around with so far. So quickly, before we move on, um, we have, yeah, I know I repeat, my, I'm repeating myself. Um, we have a Discord. If you want to join us uh, and uh, talk about VR there or talk about other stuff, feel free to join us. I posted a, a link in the chat. Just click on there, uh, log in with your Discord, and bam, you're in there. Um, it's also in the description. Plus, my Twitter is also in the description. So if you want to follow me on their Twitter, then you can. One of us. Join the rebellion. So I think I'm going to uh, wrap this stream up. We have been streaming for almost one hour and 30 minutes. Uh, if, if there's something that you guys really want to know, then this is your moment. Let's do some rapid fire answers. Leap motion with quest. Uh, officially not possible, but who knows? Maybe someone can pull it off. Opal says, you are the first VR YouTuber I watched and got me into VR. Well, that's awesome to hear. We want to make people excited for VR on this channel. And the moment we hear that someone buys a headset or gets into VR, that's an accomplishment. That's an achievement. So welcome to the VR community. Welcome to the family. And thank you for, for, for uh, tagging along. I freaking really, really appreciate it. I, I don't know how to... How to um, show off my my gratitude? But seriously, if someone says I bought a headset because I watch your content, that's amazing. It gives such a positive boost to to uh, what I'm trying to do with this channel and uh, how how uh, how we are trying to make uh, people interested in VR. Yes. Okay, so what else? What else do we have? Two headphone jacks for what? So you can plug your headphones into the left side or the right side. That, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's all I, I know for now. But maybe, maybe some accessories in the future? That's what a lot of people think. But so far it's just for two 
Maybe you can you can have two headphones in there <laughs> on both sides. Oculus rooms for quest. Um, I do see that happen. I do see that happen. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's something that that would fit the the quest. Are shooters like Pavlov coming to quest? As I said before, uh, I haven't seen Onward, Pavlov, Contractors, or any other shooter title um, on there yet. So. But hopefully there will be a competitive uh, shooting game on the quest. Because there is there is not really any any uh, on there at the moment. Uh, only dead and buried. Does Robo Recall look bad? Um, well, no. It's still as much fun as, as Robo Recall on PC. The graphics are lower. But the gameplay is the same, so it's, it's, it's as fun as the PC version. And I think that's what you should be caring about and not the graphics. Oh, hey, Mr. Care joined our Discord. Thank you so much. Again, here's a link to everyone who has not joined our Discord yet. I'm really pushing this. I'm so sorry. But I just love to uh, have, um, you know, you guys in, in one place on Discord and, and talk to you whenever, whenever, I, uh, whenever I can. Like we're not streaming all day, so that's uh, that's why. So anything else I can answer? Uh, full body tracker for quest. Oh, I don't know about that. That's some next level stuff, my friend. Shadow fifty five is is getting into the mysterious uh, route here. You said there are additional titles to Oculus which you tried but are about to keep it secret. Is this correct? Yes. Yes, I did try titles that I'm not allowed to talk about. That um, in the near future I will be able to, to well, say more about and maybe show off some gameplay, stuff like that. So, yeah. No, that, that, that's, it's no secret that, that I played stuff that, that is not, well, yeah. Let's not go deeper. Let's not go deeper down there. Um, can I order the quest on day one on Amazon? I think so. If they announce it, uh, for sure. For sure. Am I more hyped for quest or Rift S? I am more hyped for quest. Yes. I'm not going to lie. I am definitely more hyped for quest because it's the first standalone headset on the market. And it, it will have uh, a big impact, I feel like. Will Quest launch worldwide at the same time? I expect uh, so, yeah. It might take a while for people outside the US to receive their, their headsets. Like when I bought my Go when it got announced at F8 last year. Um, it took like three days to arrive. So that, that's the only thing. How did you build such a following covering just VR content? Uh, struggling a lot uh doing doing a vr for like four or five years on youtube and just waiting for it to well blow up yes i never knew you uh you live stream oh i don't do it that much but sometimes i do so subscribe hit the bell so you will get notified if i do live stream again Someone says that Cyber Shoes for Quest is already in the works. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to be uh, surprised if it, if it works. Um. Uh -huh. Bacon is asking, are you an Oculus, HTC or PlayStation fanboy? Dude, I'm a fanboy of every headset. I'm a Nintendo Labo fanboy. I'm a Rift S fanboy. I'm a Quest fanboy. I'm a uh, Valve Index fanboy. I'm an Axel fanboy. I'm a I'm a, a Gear VR fanboy, a Go fanboy, a Vive Cosmos fanboy, uh, a a uh, Star VR fanboy, uh, a Vario fanboy. Uh, what else do we have? PlayStation VR fanboy. Uh, is there anything else I missed? <laughs> Are there other, any other headsets? Uh, cardboard, cardboard fanboy. Gear VR fanboy. Did I already say that one? I don't know anymore. There's Sony. Pimax. 
Flymax fanboy. I'm a fanboy fanboy. Bam. Nailed it. Virtual boy. I am definitely a virtual boy fanboy, okay? Yeah, totally. Totally a virtual boy fanboy. Lenovo Mirage fanboy. Yes, and also Samsung Odyssey fanboy. H HP Refurb fanboy. Windows MR fanboy. So I... Basically what I'm saying here, I support VR in general and I'm not a fanboy of one headset. No, I want all of them to succeed because in the end it's it's good for the industry. It's good for VR. I think that's where we should end this video. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, as I said before, if you want to join our Discord, link is in this, this video. Check it out. Join us. Join the Rebellion. Uh, slam this like, like button uh, right now under the video as well. Let's me know you care and if you... Well, want to see uh, another another stream in the near future, and yeah, that's about it. I'm I'm, I'm rambling for way too long. Uh, now it's time for me to sign off, and as I always say, and I see you guys. Well, uh, next time, <laughs> see you in the metaphors. Bye bye. See ya uh, later. Oh yes. Bye. I'm not be right back. No, I'm actually leaving now. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. See ya, guys. Thanks for joining. See you next time.